Hey everybody, this is Don over Johnny G's Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa. Today I'm sure this 2012 Nissan Tita that just came in. It's got uh, 97,000 kilometers on it, which is about 60,000 miles. Before we get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on the lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on a lot. Also, if you're arriving at Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny Z's Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's going to have a look around. I'll show you the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos. going to answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more. So please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. This Nissan Tita is a five-passenger uh, five vehicle in the 500 series category, so the mid-size category. Road tax per year is going to be 7,500 yen, which is about uh, $55 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April-May time frame. So we're going to take every for you this year. You won't have to worry about it until next. Now, you do have uh, two ways to pay for it. First will be in U.S. dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount. Or you can take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want some down reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Before we go inside, I always like showing you the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way. If it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is it's going to give you that cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out, and always get yourself a good windshield visor. So with that, let's jump on inside. Like I said, it's just coming in, so it's going to be a little dirty. So two ways, you can put the key in normally, or if this is on your person, you just go ahead and crank it over as if the key was in there, okay? All right, let's... Take it as a signal that may be too dangerous. Let's, uh, Stay within your surfing abilities. You can always be mindful. Turn that radio off. Sorry, Troy. Let's stick this in here. 97,302 on the odometer. Let's show you a couple of warning lights. That one right there, obviously your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. And then those two down there, let's go with the circular one. The circular one is your emergency brake. This one's a kick type. So when you kick it, disengage, it goes away. Kick it again, comes right back on. And then the one below it is obviously an engine light. So we got to get this checked out. And people always ask me, why do you show something that has uh, something wrong on the dash? Because I know that it's going to get fixed, that's why. All right. Um, but other than that, uh, pretty simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. Anything pops up on a dash while you're driving, please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. And I think there's one missing. Hold on, I got to turn this off. Hold on. Okay. Well, maybe not. Oh. Hold on. Okay. All the way down here, I'm going to turn it on and off again. You're going to see a, a green little thermostat looking thing. Okay? See that thing? So that's your temperature gauge. So it's going to be light green, and that's right down here. Okay? It's going to be light green when the engine's cool. It'll go away like uh, when the engine warmed up like it is now. And it'll be red if it's overheating. Be on the lookout for that. Like I said, anything pops up on the dash, please pull over find out what it is. Take the necessary action. Off to the left here, uh, you do have a little compartment here for some storage. And on the dash, if you push... Um, if you have these open, it's going to um, help the air get out more over uh, the top of you, okay? I uh, hope that made sense. And then you got your radio, uh, radio here. This one does have a rear camera, air conditioning controls, little pocket here for your uh, uh, cup holders, your uh, shifter, armrest, little console there, to, uh, little extra storage, and that goes out of the way. And you have your power outlet and a little tray here and here, maybe for some coins or whatnot. Continuing off to the left, you have this two-tier uh, glove box. This guy hiding back there is your ETC reader, electronic toll collector. This works like easy pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway. And then a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. That is your passenger space over there. You got your red roof flare hanging out. And then this is the space I have on my side. The seat is all the way back, all the way down. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. I'm pretty comfortable right where I am. If I had to, I could slide it up an inch or two and still be comfortable driving. Uh, this one does have a sunglass compartment up there as well. Let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. Really can't see anything past the windshield wipers, like on most vehicles. Now, normally there's a time I show you the auction sheet showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Non-accident vehicle from mainland. All these other dealers out here can't tell you that. We can on all our cars. But because it's just coming in, I keep those inside the office until it's been detailed. Once detail is going to go up here on the sun visor, on the driver's side, so you see that for yourself. Now, there's actually some deals that will try to discredit the auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. I'm going to leave this on while the AC is cranking. Um, it does have an eco mode that if you want, the eco is going to show right there. Uh, if you want to save a little bit of gas. Uh, your mirror controls, this guy is to control the angle of your headlights. So maybe it's a foggy morning, 
You want to see the street a little better? That's where you're going to do it. And then please don't forget these two. The one on the right is your gas cover release. The one on the left is your hood release. Okay? Then on the door panel, you have your door lock and window controls right there. But now I'm going to turn it off and head to the back. All right. There you have it. All right, with the seat all the way back, all the way down, I'm a good three inches away from the back seat to my knees. Nothing as far as storage on the back of the driver's seat, which I never understand because they always have it on the back of the uh, passenger seat. As always, be careful what you put in there. You don't want to rip it on each side. And just a little bit of storage on uh, each door panel. And this one does have a, a center armrest that'll come down and give you two cup holders if need be. And it does stay pretty level, okay? And I think, yeah, and you can actually recline this, okay? So if you want to recline it a little back, that's where you're going to do it with this little button right there. And that's on each side, of course. So here you have your rear space. It's got a, kind of like a deep pocket. Uh, this uh, privacy shade can come out, or privacy cover can come out if need be. And then um, you can put those seats forward if, if you uh, have to. But you will have the hump there, okay? And it's by pulling those uh, tabs. Now this is actually wrong. This should be, I don't know what they did here. Oh uh, yeah, they, they screwed it on. But it's actually supposed to go up here. It's supposed to lift up when you open the hatch. All right, let's go show you this engine compartment. I'm going to wrap this video up. Come on. Okay. And there you have it, a 1.5 liter engine, which will be cleaned during the detailing process. And there you go. 2012 Nissan Tita. Uh, 97,000 kilometers on it. Again, which is about uh, 60,000 miles. Military price goes down to 4900 with additional military discount, we'll get it down to 4700 uh, 4, Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on-the-lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. But for now, the 4700 is going to include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper full warranty, the 2023 uh, road tax, and a 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top is going to be the American insurance requirement, whether you go liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick, yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles. Then stop by Johnny's Used Cars at a show what we have, what our program's all about, and how we're going to assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. Stop by Bob, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. So don't forget two ways to pay for it, U.S. dollars cash outright. We're taking advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Either way, we're good to go. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.